people being in here from two weeks to three months without moving out, defecating, doing all sorts of things in here. What is going to happen to them? Maybe Look at how die dark in the it is. And those who die in the dangers rest in peace. Look how dark it is in this dungeon here. Very, very dark. And it's very, very hot in here too. You can sweat, sweat, sweat in this dungeon. So just imagine what they were going through. Wow. Amazing. Okay. The very first one submitted from the community is only African buried in here. His name is Reverend Philip Clark. Reverend Philip Clark was born in 1741, a native of this very town. Philip, together with two other coastal boys, that is William and Thomas, the three coastal boys had a scholarship from Reverend Thomas Boys. He was a dead leader of the Anglican Church. The three boys traveled to the United States. Missionary. He was home in England with two boys lost their lives. Only Philip stayed in his He was the first African American as an American. Later returned back to the castle. He worked in as a reverend minister and also succeeded in establishing a castle for the Malawians. Philip died in 17th of October 1860. And so Philip was the one who introduced former education in the town. And so as of today, when you travel to Cape Cod, then Philip Papu has been given to some schools in the town. But the remaining three this way, these are the three things that have seen this territory. This is Cape Coast Castle, where we are. This is where the Atlantic slave trade actually took place here. And uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, it talks about, uh, uh, what is it, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, that uh, we would be put on ships. And this is actually where it happened at, so let's pull out Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. This is where a lot of that happened at, right here. Go to your Bible and pull up Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And we were brought over in ships from this place here. Cape Coast Castle. 